Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, it's been a couple of months since AV Comparatives posted their latest survey results for the different antivirus products and solutions. And um, AV Comparatives, who are an anti-malware assessment firm, have recently now posted their latest real-world protection test uh, for July through to August of this year, 2023. Now, um, unfortunately, Microsoft Defender dropped a little bit in its ratings um, compared to a couple of months ago in this latest test with the real-world protection test for July and August. And AV Comparatives say they are running this test under updated Microsoft Windows 10 Pro 64-bit with up-to-date third-party software. They like to run their tests, I have found, on Windows 10 um, compared to Windows 11. And uh, if we just head over to those test results and the actual survey, yeah, we can see that the results are based on the test set, AV Comparative says, of 254 live test cases, um, which are malicious URLs found in the field, consisting of working exploits, i.e. like drive bar downloads, and URLs pointing directly to malware. So basically, that's their, how their tests are based. And they say that this is basically exactly the same infection vectors that are used as a typical user would experience in everyday life. And the test cases uh, used cover a wide range of current malicious sites and provide insights into the protection given by the various products using all their protection features while surfing the web. So yeah, we can see the actual chart. And in the red, we've got compromised, user-dependent, blocked, and false positive. So basically, this test is... Um, a real-world protection test while you are basically surfing the web and doing your day-to-day -day online. Now, um, just to have a closer look at the chart provided, if we head over to a vast and AVG, we can see compromised 0%, user-dependent 0%, blocked 100%, false positive, positive is 1. AVG, exactly the same. And by the way, a vast and AVG have scored the best out of all these different antivirus products and solutions in this latest real world uh, protection test and then heading to Bitdefender uh, we can see compromise 0.4 block 99.6 false positives 2 let's head over to ESET 1.2 compromise 98.8% blocked let's move over to Kaspersky 0.8% uh, compromised 99.2 block 2 false positives and then we get to McAfee, 0.8 compromise, 99.2 false positives, 5. And then just moving on and just sticking here with Microsoft for um, a short while. Compromise, 0.8 block, 99.2 false positives, 1. Now, um, since the last real-world protection test in February and March of this year, um, back then Defender blocked 99.8% of the malicious uh, test cases that were thrown in it and as we can see as mentioned has dropped a little bit um in this latest survey result and this time um the block the block percentage has fallen as we can see to 99.2 so although not too bad um still a little bit concerning that it has fallen a little bit uh in its real world protection test and uh, um this uh survey as mentioned, is only regarding 254 test cases. We're back in February and March, there were 520 test cases, uh, which is a little bit concerning because although there were a, a lot less test cases, a Defender did drop slightly. So obviously, we'll have to keep an eye on that one. But nonetheless, um, still not doing too bad. But nonetheless, a little bit concerning that it did drop and obviously is not performing as well uh, in the real-world protection tests. And then if we head over to Norton, uh, 99.6, 12 false positives, which isn't good. And then as an example, if we head right over to Trend Micro, although it blocked 100%, it got 23 false positives. So obviously, depending on the product, these um, results change, chop and change a little bit. But nonetheless, just, you know, I know a lot of you, including myself, do use uh, Microsoft Defender because it does come bundled by default with Windows 10 and Windows 11. And I use Microsoft Defender on both my Windows 10 and 11 devices. And I personally don't see if you're an average home user uh, who is um, surfing the web responsibly and not visiting dodgy sites and practicing good computing habits, I don't see any other reason why you should have to pay and purchase an antivirus product for Windows 10 and Windows 11. I think uh, Microsoft Defender Windows Security does just fine, uh, in my personal opinion. Uh, Microsoft Defender... Um, 
didn't fare too well compared to a couple of months ago, but nonetheless, I just wanted to put it out there if you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.